Hi guys, it's me ROSJ and I would like to introduce my new project and it's called Zaltic. I've been working for this for about several months now and this is a beginning series that includes three major chapters and each chapter has its own sub chapter as you can see here um, on chapter one has its, has its sub chapter okay now for the chapter one it's called father and son the only character that is involved here are Anuk and Nald now if you're going to look on the cover photos Nald is at the middle while Anuk is just above Nald Anuk is the one that uh, uh, he's the one who's holding the spear now for the chapter one father and son has a very a very long conversation between father and son because Anuk is trying is trying to teach Nald how to use his magical power and also some basic knowledge about the continent of Grasnunt and how to survive to summarize the very long conversation of chapter one it all started when Nald wake up after a nine year of long slumber since he was a baby Anuk is waiting for Nald to wake up after Nald wake up Anuk start start teaching Nald how to conjure transmutation and some basic theory about their magic when you say conjure transmutation, that's how, they're perf that's how they perform their magic. Now, Anuk will also teach Nald how to use or control their physical energy, how to increase it and differentiate it from life energy. Just like other fantasy series like Hunter x Hunter or One Piece, like for example, Hunter x Hunter, they use uh, a Nen, while well, One Piece, they use uh, Haki. Usually, they have their own signature power. But here in Celtic, I only make it simple. Okay. And, uh, also, uh, Anok will also teach Nald how to use their legendary weapon, which is the spear. And also, the legendary slingshot, which is the uh, Celtic. Anuk will also teach Nald how to master the Zaltic art of battle, activate Nald's caramel senses, and how to use it. Anuk will also teach Nald different types of monsters. Here on Zaltic world, uh, we call monsters mystic being. Okay? And also Anuk will discuss different type of mystic beings and, how, and ways how to defeat them. Anok will also teach different types of magicians and how to defeat them as well, okay? Now, here on Zaltic, most antagonists are magicians. Like this powerful group of magicians that they call themselves the Order of the Magistrate. They will appear in the... Uh, they will appear at the later part or the later end of the chapter 3. Now, Anuk will also discuss the, the uh, continent of Grasnant and its people. Now, there are a total of five races in Zaltic world. These are Caucasian, Norse, Greeks, Latin, and Asians. I am done drawing the map of Grasnant. I can only show it to you once we are on chapter 1-I, which is the uh, continent of Grasnant and its people. And I do apologize for my drawing. As you can see, as you can see it, it looks like a childish drawing. To tell you the truth, I am not good at drawing. I'm only good at storytelling. And if you don't like my drawing, my advice is to use your imagination instead. I really tried to partner up with a graphic artist, but unfortunately, he declined for financial reasons. And I don't have enough financials. Uh, I, I mean, I don't have enough financial to support him as well. So it ended up. I mean, it ended, and I ending up. Uh, it's. I mean, it ending up doing it on. I mean, I ended up doing this project alone. Okay. Now, uh, in, in any case, that uh, if in any case this IP become well known. 
I am I I am hoping uh, a company will sponsor me so that I can hire a group of talented people who can help me create this wonderful uh, wonderful world of Zaltic if possible to make it either games or movie uh, movies now for the last part of the chapter one this will be uh, the start of the action Anok will ask Nal to defeat a Kalali bear the most strongest wild one in the uh, Kalali forest using only the Zaltic art of battle this is to show how powerful Nald is. Now, for the chapter 2, it's called Damsel in Distress. And Anuk and Nald will start to journey around Grasnant. Along the way, they will meet a lady in distress, and her name is Taki of Yamamoto. As you can see on the cover photos, Taki is on the left side of Nald. Now, in this chapter, there will be a lot of action, adventure, uh, fighting monsters, a bit of romance and comedy, conversations, up until they resolve Taki's cons uh, problems. Now for the chapter 3, it's called The Moment of Despair. This one will be a new story, okay? And there will be a new leading lady as well. And it will be a, uh, an elf, a she-elf. And her name is Azariah. I will not be giving spoiler on chapter 3 because uh, this chapter has lots of interesting scenes and a surprise scene as well. So that, so that means you have to wait until I get there, okay? There will be a lot of new characters on chapter 2 and 3. As you can, uh, and you will notice that I only put four characters in the cover photos as you can see it here. Um, the reason is it will not fit. And uh, another reason is I'm not good at drawing. But no need to worry, I will show them once we are on that specific chapter, okay? And I do apologize that I record this using my phone because recently our house got fire and that includes my laptop. I really need help from you guys, especially financial, for us to rebuild our home. If you can, you know, like and share this video to your friends and family or families who like action fantasy adventure series, it will really help me a lot. And uh, please subscribe as well because I will be uploading videos every two days to finish the series. And if you're a Filipino and want to tag and want a taglized version of this, um, just send me a message of what, uh, of what chapter you want, then I will create a tagalized version for you. And the reason why I decided to make this an English version so that everyone can understand and I really want this to be well known internationally. And also I do apologize for my, uh, for my minor grammar mistakes because again, I am not perfect. Now, if you're going to look on the uh, screen, um, there will be a quote there. Uh, there will be a quote there under Socrates. I mean, uh, he is a uh, Socrates is the one who created this quote. He who is not contented with what he has would not be contented with what we would like to have. Now, the reason why I put a quote here is because the story of Zaltic revolves on corruption redemption and betrayal so uh, that's it for the introduction so let's start on the uh, prologue and then chapter one okay now Zaltic is an ancient warrior tribe that serves demon as gods they have the capability to do conjure transmutation a barbaric tribe savage and cunning one day a demon god decided to destroy them only few survive. In Nald's dream, he saw both his father and mother. They were in this amazing plain covered with green grass. The sun was so bright and the air was so breeze. Same as nighttime. It also has flowers and butterflies, almost like a heaven. 
they play and talk to one another, a love that cannot be replaced. Every day he wakes up is always the same day. They are living happily together for about a year, when suddenly the background has changed into darkness and became chaos. Nald become confused at what is happening as he saw a woman groaning and pleading to a man. An Anuk, please take care of our son. Nora, no! A woman's body explode. Nightmare as it is, the child was shocked. Chapter 1, Father and Son Kalali is a large mystic forest located on the west part of Bresnot, so large that it covers 40% hectares of land. It consists of combination of small trees, large trees, rivers, and rocks. It has mystic beings such as goblin, goblins, halflings, specters, and more. It also includes wild animals such as wild boars, antlers, and more. The elves also live in this vast forest located on the eastern part of Kalali. In the middle vast ancient forest of Kalali, there is an old man and a child. The child woke up from a long slumber. He see an old man sitting on the rock. The child stand up and walk near the old man. He sit three feet away from the old man with his buttock touching the ground, and he hugged both of his knees. The child seems, seems confused of what is happening. The old man looked at the child with a smile, and he said, Ah, you are awake at last, son. You have grown a little. The child looked on the old man's face, and he replied with a confused face and said, who are you and who am I? The old man smiled as he explained to the child what is happening. As expected, I need to introduce myself. My name is Anuk, your father, and you are my son, Nald. As the child looked at the old man's face, he then remembered something from his dreams, and the child replied, you are my father. I saw you in my dreams. Anok looked at the child's face as he smiled and introduced their, about their past as a Zaltic warrior. Yes, I know. Let me tell you the history of our clan and what happened to us. Anok took a deep breath, closed his eyes, and slowly opened his eyes as he smiled and looked at Nald's face and explain clearly what is their race. We are Zaltic, an ancient warrior race. Long ago, we served a demon god called Avalok. In return, it gave us the power to conjure transmutation of things. It's like a magic thing, but in a whole new level. We can transmute fire, water, wind, and earth. We can even conjure transmutation of force and mind. Due to the knowledge that has given to us by demon god, the, the power that is beyond the human capability, we became greedy, and greed consumed us. We thirst for more, a greediness that cannot be stopped. We go even beyond the knowledge that was given to us, and able to discover the time and able to discover the use of time and holy element, which is forbidden by our demon god. Soon, the demon god learned this treason and destroyed our clan. Only few of us remained. I used the holy transmutation to protect us from demon god and the time element to get away from the demon god. But a time element has taken toll of me. As I use it, it took away my life force and made me grow older. 
Anok looked at the sky and looked back at Naud with a smile as he continued the conversation. Usually, our race can live up to thousand years due to the power that the demon god bestowed on us. But the time element is very powerful. Even myself cannot withstand it. Son, I don't have enough time to live, but I will share my remaining time to train you. Something is bothering Nald and keep thinking about woman in his dream. It seemed real but still doubt in his mind that it is not. Still confused, Nald start asking Anuk about this woman. Father, I have a question. I saw a woman in my dreams. Who is she? Anuk suddenly changed his smile into sadness. As he said, she is your mother. With a deep breath, close and open his eyes with sadness as he, as he continued. <sighs> and her name is Nora. Now realized that he lost something very dear to him and unable to accept the truth. He then keep asking and then he keep asking Anuk why the tone of his voice become the tone of denial. Both eyes start releasing the tears of sadness as he said the following line. Why is she not here with us? I don't understand this, father. He kneeled as his face goes down on the ground and then suddenly pounded the ground as he shouted, I don't want to believe this, father. Anuk is in deep sad state. He closed and opened his eyes. He takes a deep breath and looked at Nald with tears in his eyes as he, as he explained what happened. <sighs> I know how you feel, son. I really tried, but it's already too late. I wasn't able to imbue the, the holy element on her to protect her body. It takes time to imbue the Holy Sigil. By the time I'm finished imbuing the Holy Sigil on your body, the demon god already destroyed her. I started using the time travel to get away after the incident. I keep drowning myself with sadness and guilt of not, e not, and guilt of not being able to save her. But there is one thing I remember before she was killed. She wants me to protect you from she wants me to protect you. From that day, I removed myself from sadness and I promise your mother and I, and I promise your mother that I will protect you and give you the knowledge and skills of our clan. I know it is hard, son, but you have you have to accept the fact that death is imminent and you cannot escape it. We train and fight hard to survive, but if it is our time to die, then so be it. Nald cried so hard, and he stand up and move closer to Anuk and the two hug each other. It's all right to cry, son. Cry it all up until there is no more tears to spill out from your eyes. Release the feeling of sadness once done. It is time for us to move on. Nald cried so hard and kept shouting until his sadness is gone. Understood, father! Almost an hour has passed. Nald is tired of crying. He composed himself. He sit three feet away from Anuk with his buttock lying on the ground as he straightened both of his legs. Both his hands is on the ground supporting his back. He nodded and then suddenly he noticed that his chest has two weird signs that he, that he is not familiar with. Now I'll start asking Anuk about these two weird signs on his chest. The two start their conversation. It looks like you move on, son. I'm so proud of you. And then suddenly Anuk noticed something is bothering Nald and then he asked, Hmm, are you alright, son? What's bothering, what's bothering you? 
You look worried. Father, I noticed, I noticed of this weird sign on my chest. What are this? Anok looked at Nald's face as he smiled again and started explaining the two weird signs on Nald's chest. Those signs that you see on your chest is what we called sigil. Now on your left chest is a sigil of the demon god. Now look at his left chest as he holds the sigil while listening to Anok. This allows us to conjure transmutation. This was imbued to your body when you were born. And on the right side of your chest is the holy sigil. Now look at the right chest, right chest as he holds the sigil while listening to Anok. I am the one who imbued it to protect you from the demon god. We just recently learned this holy sigil. That is the reason why only few of us know to embed this. This holy sigil has a unique transmutation. Compared to the, demons, compared to the demon sigil, which has the power of destruction, the holy sigil has the power of life. The highest form of holy element is the time element. Which is the, which is the only, which is I am the only one who mastered it. I can teach you the basic time element, but you have to master the holy element first. I don't recommend using it because it will take your life force away, especially the advanced time element, which travels through time. Now think of something and wants to clarify it to Anuk as he says, as he asks. Father, you told me that holy element has a capability to give life. Does it have a capability to revive a dead person? Anok smiled as he answered now. Good question, my son. The answer is yes, but in exchange of your own life. I don't want you to do that. Then Nald opened up again about his mother. As he say, but why not revive mother? Anuk close and open his eyes and take a deep breath, change his smile face into a serious expression as he explained the condition of reviving a dead using holy element. <sighs> Son, let me explain what are the conditions for the holy element to revive a dead person. First is the body should be present. Second is, it should not be more than 24 hours after death. Third one is your life force. Now it seems disappointed as he say, so that means it's not possible to revive mother. Anok seems disappointed as well as he apologize. I do apologize, son. If only the demon god did not destroy her body, it is possible for me to revive her in exchange of my own life. It is my fault because when you were a baby, I cast my transmutation in you for you to dream in several years about your mother. I want you to feel the love of your mother, son. That is the reason why I included the dreams as I transferred the knowledge for basic survival. But soon enough, I have to make it into reality because I'm done transferring the knowledge and I don't have enough time to live, which, which makes you confused with what is happening. You were still a child. Your mind was not able to adjust to reality. I'm so sorry, son. Now I'll forgive Anuk. It's all right, father. I understand. Then suddenly he has an idea he wants to clarify with Anuk as he asks. And father, you told me that you can use time element to travel through time. Why not use it to travel back and save mother? Anok closed and opened his eyes and take a deep breath as he replied with a gentle, serious face. I can, son. I already used up my life energy. I don't have enough strength I don't have enough strength to defeat the demon god. I only have few a few years left in me to live. I prefer to pass all my knowledge to you. To become a greatest Zaltic warrior and more importantly to survive. Now become suddenly disappointed but he was determined to do something about it as he told Anok his plan. Father, when I grow up 
I will go back in time to save mother and destroy the demon god. Anuk become seriously angry as he toned up his voice and explained to Nald what will happen. Again, Nald, don't do that. You will only get yourself killed. As I told you, time travel will drain your life energy. And once you reach the time when your mother get killed, your, will be, your body will be at its weakest and you will be torn apart by demon God. All my efforts on saving you and the promise to your mother to protect you will all come to, will all come to waste. Anuk is pleading to Nald, groan in his face as the following words. For the love of God, please promise me that you will never, ever do time travel. Nald felt his father's sincere dedication to protect him. As he felt the guilt, he made the promise as well. Okay, father, I promise that I will never use the time travel. You swear? I swear from, from the bottom of my heart. Anuk felt relief in his heart as he said the following words. Thank you, Nald, and I believe you. Anuk changed the subject and started talking about the dis uh, discussing the theory of conjure transmutation. Now, let me start teaching you how to conjure transmutation and how it works. Let me start by discussing the theory, and later, we'll do the basic practical. Now, guys, um, this will be, uh, I'll, I'll be ending the video here because um, I'm planning to cut uh, uh, the video every uh, a chapter so that it will not be long. And uh, expect a video from me after uh, two or three days. And uh, if you, if you, I hope, uh, I, I hope that I was able to entertain you in this video, and thank you for your, uh, and thank you for watching. Please do like and share, and also subscribe to my channel. And again, um, again, um, see you soon. Bye.